Two days ago I had the most exciting day of my life. I've heard that's pretty common when you try LSD for the first time, but the strip opened doors for me that will change me forever. I'm a 23-year-old girl and I call myself a freelance artist, but it's really just because that sounds better than unemployed. I'm sure a lot of you know how hard it is for independent illustrators out there. No matter how good you are, you're always going to see someone who is better and still can't make a career out of it. The other side of that coin is that no matter how bad you are, there's always going to be someone who has already made a fortune from being worse. It really just comes down to being in the right place and meeting the right people. Well I live in New York, as good a place as you can find for the arts but I've always been extremely introverted. Like if someone is knocking on my door, I lie really quietly on the ground and wait for them to go away. It's hard for me to go hang out with the people I do know. Attending the parties and social gatherings that are essential for making career advancing connections is impossible. It's not like I don't have friends or anything, well, okay, so I only have one friend, but that feels like more than enough. Anyway my one friend Jordan decided the best way to help me 51 sleepless nights 166 was for us to take LSD together and talk through my social aversion. I was hesitant at first. I'm pretty sure he has feelings for me, and I don't want something to happen and ruin my only friendship. Who knows though, maybe it would teach me to get close with another human being for once and something could work between us. Either way, I was desperate to change my life. I've heard some amazing stories about how psychedelics can open your mind and alter your perspective, and I ended up agreeing. Opening your mind is one way to describe it. Blowing a hole through one side and out the other to splatter on the far wall would be better. In the glorious moment of the peak of my high, I was completely invincible. My art was divinely inspired, my personality infectious and debonair, and my future success inevitable. Between my magnetic confidence and Jordan tripping out of his mind, we decided it would be a good idea for me to give him a tattoo. If you're cringing right now, I get it. To a sober person, it sounds like a terrible idea. But I was swimming through an ocean of color and the muse was singing softly in my ear. The needle of the tattoo gun danced an intricate ballet across his back which wasn't so much seen as experienced in its own dimension. I was the ink in his skin, pulling veins of light straight from the air to imbue into my creation. Not to brag, but I've been drawing my whole life and I'm pretty damn good, but this was the first piece of art which has ever come alive for me. Once the LSD had worn out of our systems, we admired it again and holy shit. Jordan was wearing a picture of the infinite cosmos being condensed into the soul of Tobias Vade, COM 167 a solitary human, interwoven with such sublime color and beauty that I felt the two were inseparable and the same. Even sober, neither of us could look upon the masterpiece on his skin without tears in our eyes. The trip did something strange to me though. I was so hyperfocused on my career that I couldn't think of anything else. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, and most of all couldn't go out and meet people like I was supposed to. I was just obsessively trying to draw the tattoo over and over again, but every time it would look like a cheap, broken doll trying to in vain to imitate that living masterpiece. I ran out of paper, but I didn't want to leave to get more so I just kept drawing on every surface around me. The walls, the counters, even an entire roll of toilet paper was unraveled across the floor to make space for my doodles. It was so frustrating I wanted to die. I needed that feeling of progress to keep me sane while approaching this impossible dream. Failing to replicate what I had already done just felt like a huge step back. I was crying when Jordan came back to visit that night. The best thing I could ever do was already done, and I would never become a real artist. I was going to end up some crack whore in a back alley somewhere desperately trying to get any fix which would bring me closer to that perfect creation which I could never approach while sober. Don't worry though, the story has a happy ending. Even if I couldn't force myself to go out, Jordan was a social butterfly. He had been showing off my tattoo all day long, and he had some big news for me. Andrew Kreps, the manager at Andrew. Fucking. Kreps, 151 Sleepless Nights 168 of New York's, no the world's most renowned art galleries, had seen my tattoo. Even crazier, one of his exhibits, Roe Etheridge, was just cancelled due to some licensing issue and he desperately needed a new piece by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. 
But how in the world was I going to have something ready by then? He'd seen the best I can do, and nothing else in my portfolio even came close. If I tried to bring my old stacks of watercolors and crumpled canvas to Andrew Kreps, I'd get laughed out the door. But I was this close, and I wasn't going to give up now. Jordan was so amazing for having gotten me in the door. He had always been so good to me. The least I could do, no, the only thing I could do to thank him was sex. But it wasn't about our friendship, or his feelings. It was about my art, it had always been about my art. I waited until he fell asleep, nuzzled against my bare body, when I gave him the only thing I had to give. I slipped out of bed without waking him. That's good. After all he's done, I wouldn't want him to be awake for this part. It's amazing how easily box cutters can part the skin. It almost felt like painting as his blood drained from the hole I cut in his neck. It was fitting for him to go this way since he was my masterpiece. Cutting the tattoo off his back was a little messier than I expected, but that was just because I cut deeper than I really needed to. I couldn't take the risk of damaging the tattoo. Tomorrow morning I'm going down to the gallery with my pride. Thank you Jordan. You're the best friend a girl could ask for.